Andre J. Hey, I'm Star. And welcome to another episode of Exploring the Video Synthesis Ecosphere. Mm -hmm. We actually know what it's called Nailed this it time. this time. Nailed yeah. it. Yeah. Nailed it. Just to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> One draft. Second draft is fine. <laughs> but what are we going to talk about today? Um, so today we're going to talk about chaining different units together. So we'll be looking at artificial life and auto wave. Yeah, so this is really one of my favorite setups here is to use and kind of what I designed artificial life for. Can I mm. get this into the shot? Do right I understand here. Right how here. cameras work? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there we are. Is that artificial life works as a really amazing just sort of like seed for auto waves or for uh, 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 wave pool. Mm -hmm. The nice thing too is you can notice here we're not using any input. Artificial Life is the only one of these video synths other than Phosform that works with no video input. You can plug video into it, it looks great, yeah. but if you don't want to it'll just it just makes it on its own. So. Yeah and that's like so cool that that exists because I remember my first time using Artificial Life and I was like this <laughs> is its own internal <laughs> Universe. Like, yeah. 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 So I was like, you really don't even need anything else when you have artificial life. So it's dope that you can just kind of, it's a, it's a lovely addition. Lovely addition. Yeah. And then just something else we do, whenever I have more than one unit going on, like, I'll just like make sure I like label each one of my controllers. This mm -hmm. one I just wrote a life on and tape. Um, some people have made... Uh, some really cool people have made a lot of like nice little overlays. Mm. I keep saying I'm gonna get them and print them out. That's uh, cute. But I'm lazy and forgetful, so I guess I don't. But... I want some colorful like little knobs and like, cause there's some knobs that I'm like I just need to make a mental note not to do too much on this one yeah. because I will, I will. <laughs> you know, I just will. So I would love to have little colored knobs. <laughs> but yeah, so how do we go about? doing so we're using hdmi out from here mm -hmm. and remember that we want to make sure the video uh, uh that we want to use from an output is plugged in before we do any powering on mm -hmm. so we got hdmi out going through here and if we follow this through mm -hmm. we can see we're using this little hdmi dongle thing and that's mm -hmm. plugged into the auto wave right and if you ordered a capture bundle you will have an hdmi video capture included so yeah. if you didn't like you can find this. Like, look yeah. at it. Like, you Gener just look it's up. Generic. It's very generic. It's, <laughs> like, it's just like a chipset that, like, I think 500 different like, yeah. Chinese manufacturers, like, package. And I think they're, like, 10 different. bucks, I yeah. want to say. Yeah, it's unbelievable yeah. how good they work for, like, how cheap they are. Like, mm -hmm. when, when I first discovered that, like, this was an option, I was just like, oh, okay. Amazing. Right. Okay. <laughs> Fuck that Pi Capture SD1. Honestly, thing. I... <laughs> You know, I forgot, honestly, <laughs> what that era was like. We were, like, building, I don't even, I yeah, can't even remember. Yeah, we built these, like, gigantic, like, I plexiglass, like, PCB honestly, sandwiches. Honestly, <laughs> after this, we have to find a picture because I'm just, like, yeah, it was hilarious. I forgot how they looked. Like, we yeah. transcended that, y'all. <laughs> we have totally transcended that era. <laughs> yeah. So, for captures, best order of operations is, so this one we've got the video going into this is the end of our chain mm -hmm. um so we want to power this one on first and we'll just like wait as it boots up and it mm -hmm. goes through its old little like waking up from sleep thing yeah there Get it is Lincoln lights there Get it the is little screen pop up the little screens that i made for each one of these um, they're partially just because I thought it was, like, cute and looks like a Nintendo game yeah. when you start it. But yeah. it's also partially so you know that, like, um, you've got the right unit and you've got the, the, the video coming through. Right. Use that as a diagnostic. If you don't see the little splash screens come up, then yeah. you know that, like... Some sums off. Something's kind of goofy. Yeah. All right. And then, so every time you have the HDMI thing plugged in, if it doesn't recognize the source, it'll just give you the color bars that you see there. That's another useful diagnostic. Mm. I didn't design that. It's just built into it. Now that we can see that it's recognizing, I'm going to power on artificial life. And we should see the same. Yeah, it'll go to black screen at first. Should see the A life uh, boot screen at some point. That's how we know we're good. And then we're going to get artificial life up and wobulating. Yes. 
All right, so let's get some action on the artificial life first. All right, let's let's get in there. Let's just get straight to it. Actually, is this um is this nano programs? Huh, huh, huh. I don't feel like it is. It's moving. Not really, though. Not really. Um, well, it's got a delay in it. <laughs> <laughs> Edit point. Edit point. Jesus. All right. <laughs> Time travel, and we're back. Yeah. Um, so another little common thing that happens sometimes when setting these up. So if you did your own DIY, um, you got like a bare bones and you bought your own nano control and you set it up and you're like playing around with it and you just like play with all of these sliders here and it seems like nothing's happening. Hmm. If you hit these buttons and they don't stay lit, that means that you need to change up the what's called a MIDI scene setting. Hmm. Um, if you go to my website, you go check out the wave pool and friends section and like go to the frequently asked questions, gear, DIY stuff. There's like literally pages and pages of information. In there you'll find information on how do you basically download a scene setting and write mm. it to your uh, thing. It sounds confusing, it's not. Yeah, it's super simple. It's really just download the Korg app. Um, it lets you re remap everything on here. You download the thing that I made and with Let's like basically drag it in. three clicks, um, you'll have it all set up and ready to go. Yeah. So it was but We have the tutorial, to the, um, it's in the manual though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you know, all, you know, you know when you get there. It's super simple. But yeah, it can happen to us too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so we got artificial life. Let's get some like goopy things going on. Yeah, let's, let's get some let's get some color in there. Yeah. yeah. Get a little feedback. And you can use the analog captures for this too. So if you have one of these, you can use the analog output as well. But I recommend if you're doing, you know, any of my units into another unit, you use the HDMI and you get just better color overall. The HDMI things just work a little bit better because mm. HDMI is already a natively digital signal. So to sample it and to transform it to get in, it just works better than than these will. Yeah. So. These are great. Um, if you've got anything that is only analog, use these for sure. If you've got anything that's uh, one of the other VSE RPI units, use the HDMI ones because you can just chain them up. I've chained up like five of these in a row, yeah. and uh, it looks great. So. Well, now I'm just like getting lost. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, now let's key in some auto waves. Yeah. So this was the Nano for Artificial Life. Popping into auto wave. I think there's still something playing. Something. Yeah, yeah. And we can activate that. Pressing some. All right. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Grab some filters. Mm -hmm. Zoom some shit in. Do some more rotations. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. So you can see we got like a totally, just a total abstract video synthesis composition going on here. Right. So this is great for when you don't have source footage you want to work with, or you just very specifically want this kind of like, you know, abstract, like unearthly kind mm. of like visual thing going on. Just a straight up video synthesis and a video feedback like, like zone. Right. Right. But yeah, anything else we need to talk about chaining? Hmm. Any anything that comes up? Any issues that you think my, people might have? Um, I think we we talked about something that I think could have been a potential issue, which is just um, the order of yeah. which you plug things in. I think that's like one of the most important things to always take note of. Is sometimes you know if we would have turned on artificial life first and then turned on auto wave. You know, Sometimes it doesn't work that way. Right, exactly. So I think order is super important. Mm -hmm. But, you know, other than that, things should pop up. Yeah, and a good way to test things, too, is just always make sure, like, like, like make sure you know that everything in your chain is working in the correct order. So yeah. because auto waves is at the end, 
we tested to make sure everything in AutoWays is doing good before we plug in artificial light. Right. And then once we know that one's going in, then we do artificial light. If I was then going to run spectral mesh into artificial life, yeah. we'd be like, let's make sure artificial life is working first. Right. So like, whenever I work on like large chains, I do everything one step at a time. Right. Because if we start from everything and just plug everything in, and then you need to troubleshoot one thing, you have no idea where to start. Right. And then you, and then you just end up unplugging everything and then replugging everything back in, yeah. and then you still didn't really fix the problem because... Yeah, you didn't really There was no know. order. You yeah, didn't yeah. you didn't really one. know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so this is how you get started chaining stuff together. And this is when it gets fun. Yeah, and I think I'll probably do, probably at the end of the month, I'll do like the, if you've been like paying attention, I did like a little week-long like bundle sale. Yeah, yeah. And I think I'll just keep that going on as a recurring thing for the last week of the month. Mm, we'll do nice. some sort of discount, and it just kind of depends on how sales go, so... Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'll do a discount for chaining things up. So any two units and you'll get some kind of discount on things. It'll be at least 10%, uh, maybe more, mm -hmm. uh, depending on how stuff goes. But yeah, just keep that in mind if you want to like, and you can, the thing is, is it, it doesn't matter if you and a friend both want to buy things, just buy through one account. Right. And then you each get one at a cheaper price. Exactly. So this is also a good reason to... Um, annoy your friends by <laughs> like, oh, hey, have you seen this? Have you seen this? You want to get into ever, this? Like, you, like, yeah. You ever you heard of a, yeah. a artificial <laughs> life? You trying to get a spectral mesh in an artificial life and swap them every so often? I would. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's the end of this episode. Yeah. Um, future episode, I think I have one more thing that we're going to plan, we're going to talk about next time, and that's about how do you boot different units from the mm. same thing. We'll talk about the master boot, what that means, and how you can, even if you only have artificial life, how can you use artificial life to play with spectral mesh, to play with wave pool, and to play with temporal vortex. Nice. So that'll be next episode. I like that. How do you get your most out of these? Yeah. Um, but yeah, otherwise, <laughs> cool times. Always, always, let us know in the comments mm -hmm. what's going on, if this is helpful, if it's not helpful, um, what do you, you know, want to see? Let what us know. What don't you want to see? Um, know. just tell us what your emotions are, how was your day, how do you feel <laughs> about just, like, coming back to life and going out and hanging out with people without masks on? Woo! <laughs> Woo! Did you know that people have mouths <laughs> and no, facial expressions? No, I didn't. I forgot. It was weird, right? Yeah, it was so <laughs> weird. <laughs> Especially on the dance floor. <laughs> like, yeah, oh. like a nice six foot, nice six foot dance floor <laughs> separation. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, there's like little circles on the floor to so stay in your pod and you're like... To be honest, that that is like if you're at like one of those clubs where everyone's like doing ketamine bumps every five minutes. That is how it was <gasps> anyway. Oh so. my god! <laughs> this video is gonna get Just taken like... down. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can talk about ketamine. It's like prescribed. Yeah, to people true. Now. It's like it's, it's for horses. Yeah, it, no I big mean, deal. Yeah, save some for the horses. Yeah, but because they have anxiety too. Oh. Yeah, horses I, get I, anxiety and depression. I did not know that. I mean, they now have, I'm like sad. Well, no, but it's like if you have emotions, you're gonna have anxiety and depression sometimes. I get depressed sometimes. I mean, like, yeah, it's just a part of life. That's like, true. It's not a negative thing to be depressed, and even if you're a horse, it's not negative to be a depressed horse because like <laughs> with all of the ups comes lows. It's all about like uh, it's, it's about balance. It's about uh, how how do, how do things flow. So, yeah. Save some ketamine for the horses. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's, it's <laughs> going to be our new uh, campaign. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, that'll be part of our sale for every every five units we sell. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll donate, we'll donate uh, a bit of ketamine to a, a local Depressed, horse. Depressed, anxious <laughs> horse who, like, can't make it out on the dance floor. Oh, All my right. God. Yeah. Anyways... <laughs> Hopefully yep. they don't even make it this far Public in the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They probably, most people check out within five minutes. According to my analytics, like, people love the first 60 seconds. And then, like, the last, like, five minutes are just, like, who even knows? Uh, let us know in the comments if you mm -hmm. watch this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Well, thanks a bunch. Have fun and see you in the future. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Those went pretty well.